y'all. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and I'm getting ready to bring you a reading for Taurus. All right, so if your sun, moon, or rising is in Taurus, welcome to my channel. If you are a Taurus lover, how are you? Y'all, today was a really good day. So I got to go to Potasco State Park, and I love it, right? So I've been on hibernation pretty much since the cicadas have been here in Baltimore. Okay, and so now they're starting to die out, and I'm back outside. I'm back feeling like myself again and I'm ready to start bringing you guys your um, zodiac readings on a regular basis okay so thank you for tuning and thank you for your support and your love as usual all right so you know how this go everybody is on a different timeline so switch these roles as you see fit you um pick up on what you need and what you don't need you leave it okay because everything in this message may not be for you all right i'm tapping into a whole bunch of different people's energy so use the spirit of discernment to figure it out i am a teacher i'm also um a seer and i also do the oracle card readings of course so i do give you a little bit of anything in this reading okay you will leave here with something tonight or today whenever you tune into this video all right, so let me set my intentions because we got to be on the same page energetically, of course. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this collective reading for Taurus. Thank you for protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and closing the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will or the purpose of these readings. Thank you for using me as a messenger. Thank you so much for protecting me from any psychic attacks, negative energies, or spell work. Whew, and so it is. Thank you, my spirit guides. Let's speak of the message that Taurus needs to hear. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. I need some energy for Taurus right now. Okay, so some of you guys have walked away from something. All right, either you walked away from a relationship, a situation, or some codependent behaviors. Okay, <laughs> so let's see what this is about. Don't forget to flip the roles. All right, you walked away because, look, the world card here is in the reverse. So something wasn't expanding or growing. Thank you. And it comes to a thinking man. All right, so this thinking man is in an upright position. So this thinking man is pretty much here trying to gain some wisdom or some type of understanding of this situation, right? So let me look at something real quick, y'all, because I want to see something with this world card in the reverse position. One second. You know what? Nope, let me try to get the book. I'm about to knock everything over, y'all. <laughs> Hopefully it don't be too disastrous. I got it. So it says here in the book for the reverse position of this one. So, okay, yeah, you're walking away from having these severely limited views of things, okay? So you either may be thinking too narrowly, either in your options for action or in what you feel you deserve, okay? So yeah, someone is definitely walking away from being boxed in old ways of doing things, um, uh, habits, mindsets, and all of that other stuff, right? So the good thing about it is with this thinking man in the upright position, they're actually really sitting here trying to understand here um, the nature of their situation. So whether this is your person, again, or if this is you, you know, you're thinking creatively. So it's more like thinking outside of the box that you're finding yourself in now and you're deciding here to go out that gate. Okay, you're deciding to just close it. You're looking behind you almost, but you're still walking away from it um, for the most part, right? You realize it's time to break out and it's time to see what's out there because you haven't been doing that, right? Because this is in the reverse. Here is about expanding. Okay, so we're going to see what this energy is about here for you. All right, and for this person that's showing up in your reading, okay? So... Thank you. I'm like, where is my tarot? I want to use my light seer tarot first before I go into my traditional rider deck. Thank you, my spirit guys. What is it that I need to see about this? Tell me about this spread here, spirit. Tell me what I need to tell Taurus. Thank you. Thank you for helping me see. All right, Taurus. So for the most part here, y'all experience some heartbreak, okay? But it's in the reverse, y'all. I like reverse cards like this because, you know, things are, are, are changing and shifting. So you're healing, right? Or the situation is beginning to heal. Um, You may have forgiven this person and you guys may have reconnected, all right? So the reconciliation could be on any terms. We just reconcile our differences or we became friends again or we got back in a relationship together. Whatever that reconciliation means to you, that's what's happening here, okay? So that you, you guys are literally moving on after all of this pain here that has taken place within your situation. 
situation, okay? Now, for the most part here, this, this is what I feel like, Taurus, you may be doing, right? But your person kind of stagnant with that. Um, the communication as far as it coming in, it still seems like you're waiting. But the reason why is because they're really thinking about this, okay? Taurus, they're really, really contemplating about this, okay? Like, all right, let me gain some understanding and some wisdom about this here so I can be able to make some good choices, all right? Now, um, you will get some communication about this, though, is what I'm picking up on, okay? But right now, it just seems like you're waiting for this, um, but your person is trying to assess this for the most part because I feel like they hold on. It's them that hold on to the pain it's not even like holding on to the pain it's like almost as if they're holding on to the the fact that they may have failed you in some kind of way all right right because the will card is here in a reverse position so you guys are literally still caught up in this karmic cycle um or your person is really still caught up in this karmic cycle here because of external events okay right so this is also what is keeping them really really thinking here. It's a good thing, though, because they're doing the self-reflecting, and that's when you start to make decisions and choices, right? But whatever this external um, fa factor here that's playing in your person's life here, they're pretty much like, it's, it's I don't want to say it's a holdup, but it has to be delayed, okay, for the most part, because um, that cycle has to play itself out, okay? And you guys, um, thank you. Don't forget, y'all. Flip the rose as you see fit, but I'm going to just speak this energy how I'm seeing it. Um, now, with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, this is masculine energy, right? So either, you know, you could be operating in this masculine energy or this is literally a masculine energy. But the energy is so low vibrational, y'all. Um, and that right there, it's just like keeps... It, it'll keep a person from moving on or transitioning from pain, especially trauma that may have happened in the past. And this is where this arrogance is coming from, is what Spirit is telling me about this masculine energy here. This is why they run from commitment, literally, because of this Six of Swords and the Reverse, because of the trauma that they experience, okay? Um, because of, they're having a difficult time with uh, changing, one, is what's coming to me, and... Um, Leaving the baggage behind. Thank you, Spirit. They have a difficult time with that. But they don't want to leave you or they don't want to lose you within this situation. But, okay, they have to they have to make this conscious decision to make this, this, this transition and move beyond the trauma they experience. Look, the hangman in reverse. They have to gain a new perspective is what Spirit is saying. And that's what's happening. They see in it in a different light now. Okay, it seems like they're stalling, but they're thinking. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> they're thinking. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me what I need to see. What is this masculine thinking about me? All right, making a decision, choices, making a decision to commit. Wow. Taurus, y'all heard that shit? <laughs> Choices. Your, this person here has a lot of options, okay? And they're really contemplating and making a decision should they commit, higher font, should they follow this process here, okay? With you. But they're coming in here with the emperor in the reverse position, right? So emperor in reverse is pretty stubborn. And what it feels like to me is like, they're so conditioned to a certain way of thinking here. This is what's keeping them from being able to make or expand, right? But the thing is, is that they're open here to try to assess the situation here, okay? But their ego mind is still in play, all right? And it makes them stubborn or they even start to become very rigid, okay? Instead of them being structured about this and um, having some discipline in their life, uh, when it comes to their options, let's just put it that way. Because um, when I think of options here, y'all, I ain't thinking about just material things. I'm thinking about your person having options as far as other lovers or suitors. Okay, so that's what's coming to me when when I think of that card. Okay, and it's going to take some discipline here for them to be able to follow this process. All right. Now, they definitely know you are someone that they want to marry. All right. Or that they want to 
um, be with in the end. Just put it that way, right? But of course, we got to live in our mound, right? We got to stay present. <laughs> we got to stay present. They're not giving to you, okay? And because you made that decision to us to walk away from this situation and um, go towards a higher purpose here, they're literally um, been thinking about it. Look, here, here they go again, coming in as a king of cups. This time, you know, looking at this cup, you see that heart chakra just shining and radiating here. So now they're using logic here mixed with um, your intellect or, or your intuition or your heart. Let's just just to say that. Right. Because it's like, OK, should I I'm thinking about should I offer Taurus something deep and rewarding here, a, a relationship here that's going to be mean, meaningful because I do see them as someone that I want to marry. But I lack the discipline. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. What a word, y'all. I'm sitting up here thinking like, whoa. You know how sometimes it, it y'all, I mean, if you're not a reader, but, you know, sometimes as readers, we be sitting up here like, God, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> you know? And then here with the page of wands in the upright position, it's like, yo, they see the bigger picture when it comes to doing this. They see the possibilities. They can envision it, but it's still fear that keeps in the idea because they are. And look, y'all, I really feel like they are afraid of themselves because they keep coming out being the empress in the reverse or reverse energy. They lack the discipline. OK, and it's because of a conditioning, a mindset here that they have become accustomed to from past hurt and past failures. OK, but they really are. Um, they can see the bigger picture here with you. Um, with building this foundation here, even weddings, even engaging with you, I really feel like they envisioned it all or they are envisioning it all. One second, y'all. Right, Let me pick back up. Okay, so pretty much, y'all, as I left off, um, you know, they can see um, having something with you long term. So let's just put it that way. So thank you, my spirit guys. Tell me what I need to see. Tell me what I need to see. Thank you. Now, when it comes to the two of wands and the three of pentacles together, that's what just popped out. So for the most part here, they are now starting to plan a future with you. All right. This is it's almost as if they're ready to step outside their comfort zone and make this progress because they know they have not been working with you on this. And you guys actually do share the same goals. Right. And they didn't see that because <laughs> why they weren't stepping outside of themselves and they were literally um, over analyzing this. Right. And missing the bigger picture. Right. So and on top of that, all of their plans that they made previously before um, when it comes to committing to someone has failed. OK. They literally have been keeping their back um turn towards this okay because of that failure look at this they've been keeping their back towards making a decision or even committing because of being betrayed themselves okay so now they have now turned into the person who does the betraying right now um it's it's really about their healing that needs to take place look and they betrayed you, okay? They feel like a failure because they did that, um, Taurus, um, for the most part. But you know, you've been trying to offer them stability. You've been trying to offer them something abundant here, abundant here, and they really just couldn't see it. Um, it's sad to say it, y'all. Um, but it had a lot to do, or it has a lot to do with that selfish energy, okay? Um, with the King of Wands, right? And Spirit is like, it's not just the selfish energy, honey. This person literally just runs from commitment. And it's because they lack the discipline. That's the theme, y'all. They lack the discipline. This is my son. So hold Sorry, on. My son went out of town. So he was calling in to check in. But let's get back to it. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. So with the page of swords here in the reverse position, right? Um... Your, pers your person here literally is just kind of like scattered in their thinking for the most part about this. And, um, or they were, okay? And instead of them communicating with you and having this conversation about what they really feel or how they really feel, you know, when it comes to them lacking the discipline and when it comes to them actually coming together to be in um, a partnership with you in some kind of way or, or union here, um, they created this imbalance, right? But a lot of it was coming from their codependencies. But now, guess what? Yep, 
the communication wasn't coming in, y'all. But guess what? They're going to confess it. It's going to come out, okay? So you're going to hear from your person, and they're going to literally confess this. They want to protect you. They want to protect this connection for the most part, okay? Now, you definitely have decided to set some boundaries here within this situation. Some of you may even have just given up, right? Just like, you know what? I'm, I'm tired. I'm going to give up on this because this person just keep lying or this person just keeps scheming, right? But guess what? The confession is coming through. They want to protect this connection, y'all. Okay? Thank you. Tell me what... Ooh. Look, they're coming in here as a king of swords and the upright with this six of cups that just... um was actually like stuck to it, right? But what I'm hearing or what I'm seeing, let's just say it that way, is for the most part, it's like they are very clear or they're using their logic here and their intelligence about this. It's like, okay, it on, it makes sense for me to do it this way, right? Now, um, Six of Cups, they relive in memories that they have with you. Um, they are even, you know, some of them are going to reconnect with you because through these memories, what it makes you want to come back into that person's life some kind of way. But um, whatever memories they have of you here is helping them to really use their logic. It's helping them to really be able to have um, a clear understanding or clear thinking about you guys' connection. Okay. So, wow. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position. And one of the memories that stand out for your person here is how they literally have not been, um, it's how y'all relationship really was just, it just, it, it lacked quality and it lacked quality. Why? Because of them. Okay. It was their fault. They feel like it's their fault. They feel like a major failure about this because they really neglected to see you. And now I'm feeling like y'all Tars, they see you. Now they're thinking, okay? So, mm, show me what I need to see with this. Yep, Eight of Swords here. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. And the reason why they weren't able to um, really gain a clear perspective about this is because they were trapped. Thank you. They were trapped in, in their mind. It's more one of those things that the restrictions weren't coming from anything. The restrictions were coming because they were clouded in their judgment. At one point, they couldn't understand um, what you two really had, you know, below the surface here. And now they are understanding it. They're becoming this person here that's seeing like, okay, I see myself with Taurus here long term. Okay. And it created an imbalance with you guys instead of them working with you in harmony here. Um, they weren't doing that. And guess what? Wasn't even uh, moving forward, right? Or, or even feeling ambitious about taking any type of action towards you when it came to loving you in that way. Okay. And guess what? Now they were really trying to hold on to their independence, their singleness. Okay, honey. <laughs> it's like that, that, that lack of discipline there is like, you know, they feel like they don't want to let go of their singleness, all right? Take it how it resonates for you. But guess what? We got the two of swords in the reverse position. Your person here basically um, was indecisive. And now some truth is being revealed, okay? So the moon card is here in the upright position here. You, everything... Everything I feel like what they're starting to see here is that a lot of stuff that they were thinking or what their ideas were, were based on fear, you know, more like an illusion. It's like they complicated this, this situation here because they were, um, basically not using their intuition. Okay. That's one thing. And then on top of that, it feels like it could be um, many of options here that your person may have, and it's something here that's in their life that they have to make a major decision about, right? Because it seems like it's too, because I've seen the card flash before my eyes. It seemed like it could be a 30, third party situation that's going on here too as well. Okay. Now with the um, five of swords here in a reverse position, for the most part, they do want to reconcile with you. So they do want this resolution to take place here, but of course they're uncertain, right? Very uncertain here. They want to get back together with you, but you know, 
you guys can't seem to come into alignment and agree. You know, it's, it's some type of argument, some type of disputes, you know, tension and stuff that's there. But it, it's really there because the fact that they've been deceptive, right? Look at this, the strength card. So now they're actually having some confidence here. It's like, yeah, they're thinking hard. Look at this third party situation, Ace of Wands. They're, they're getting this inspiration here and they're now starting to find their voice and what it is that they actually envision for themselves um, and envision for YouTube's connection here. Okay, so um, thank you. Tell me what is this Ace of Wands about? All right, so I got the devil card that came out. Okay, so we know when the, de when, when the devil card comes, I was like, oh, shit, what are we talking about here? Okay, so it could be some type of, um, thank you, elaborate on the devil card. Of course, that goes back to the codependencies and things like that. So there could be some type of oppression here, um, addictions as well that your person here deals with. And they, and they really, you know what? They, thank you, Spirit. They definitely are um, seeing here that a lot of their shit is because of that devil energy. They got codependent. They codependent and they see it. They like, you know what? I'm the fucking problem. Okay. <laughs> I'm the fucking problem. And the reason why I can't find my voice with this and really bring this into fruition is because why in the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, I'm the fucking problem. I'm the one that's risky. I'm the one that's neglecting um, Taurus. They're seeing, they're thinking, they're seeing this, they're evaluating all of this, and they're gaining understanding um, of the role that they're playing here in this situation. Thank you. This is why they haven't been offering you anything. And they feel like they are missing out on a solid, let me tell you, chance here if they don't go after this opportunity and offer you something and take action, right? To be more proactive when it comes to you, you two's connection here. So they do have this willpower to be able to do this now. To, to, to literally grow or expand here. Wow, thank you. So this third party other person here may be um, someone they have children by or a mother figure. Or someone who could be even pregnant now. Now, but for the most part here, I got the sun next to the tower card. So there's going to be some sudden changes, but guess what? It's not going to be those sudden changes that's going to lead, that's going to knock you the fuck off your feet. <laughs> you know how you had them storms and those tower moments when you be like, yeah, that just shook my whole world. It's one of those ones that's going to bring in sudden changes of happiness. Okay. And peace and joy. Um, and it's one of those things that's really um, bringing you two closer together. Okay. So let me pull some more cards here. I'm going to jump out of my tarot real quick and then go into something, another deck here. So let me put these together y'all. So I can create more space for myself. Thank you. Y'all, that's, that's a, uh, <laughs> That reading. Woo, thank you. But I mean, at least now you know the truth. It's like, it's that lack of discipline that keeps them from committing. And your person literally has been toiling and laboring over this. <laughs> Let me tell you, like, so much in their head about this here. Let me tell you, this is really funny. Thank you. It's not funny, but... <laughs> To have so much um, conflict, then conflicted thoughts about committing, you know, courtship came out. So yeah, they want to date you, honey. One of the cards fell, but I don't know which one. I feel like it was the child card for some odd reason. Oh no. Oh yeah, you, you, you the main female. Okay, Taurus, feminine energy, main female. They've been toiling and laboring about them dating you. <laughs> I don't even want to say no more. <laughs> this is crazy. This is seriously crazy about them courting you, coming together with you, and, and but you that main female. <laughs> it's crazy. You're the main person. All right, so a bad house card came out. Okay, so let's see what that's about. 
What is this bad health card about here? Something unexpected. Ooh. High honor. They feel like it's going to end up being big. That's why they've been toiling and laboring about this. Okay, so a message is going to come in for you, Taurus. But they've been to toiling and laboring about dating you. Why? Okay, you still like the main lead in person in their life, but they feel like this is going to lead to a bad situation. Now, there's something unexpected coming in. Um, and it, this card says unexpected income, okay? But we we got to switch this a little bit, right? Because this is about someone being able to give you something. So like unexpected um, wealth or abundance or something that may be coming in. And it's next to the high honor card, okay? So because they do honor you here, okay? So something unexpected here of value will come in. So with this message of concern card, what is this message of concern card about for Wealthy man. Thank you. Can you tell me more about this? Adjudication. Your person may have um, their financial life together or working on building their financial life. They're already something here where your person may already be financially stable. Um, wealthy. Okay. Um, for some of you. Or this literally could be a message of concern coming from a wealthy man. But I'm going to pull tarot on that to see what that's about. But the adjudication card also speaks about, you know, some judgment is being made here. So really, this is about a decision, right? So some decision here is being made and you're going to get a message about that. Look, again, message. Okay, so tell me about this. Is there anything else? So you're expecting something. So you've been sitting back, you know, kind of waiting and expecting here um, to see what's going to happen. You know how you go into a state of expectation and you're like, okay, I'm a, I'm, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to wait and I'm going to see what's going to happen here. Look at this, a house. Okay, so there's something coming in with a message and it's, a, it's about um, a house. And when I see a house, I'm thinking of a firm foundation, you know, having something here that's solid, right? partnership things like that right even with real estate for some of you and that may be something a message come in and you may be expecting to hear something about a house maybe as well so it can go either way y'all but um where something where someone was expecting it here to uh turn out to be you know something that's not going to manifest well and it, it'll end up leading to a bad situation here um yeah it's something here coming in that's unexpected that is going to be in regards of some sudden changes, okay, where someone is going to be more generous or they're going to either be giving into you because they really hold you to high regard, all right? So let me see if my tarot will tell me what this message is about. Thank you. So your person here, because... They have, hold on, let me do this again, y'all, because we're about to tell the whole story, right? <laughs> Thank you. What is this message about here? Eight of Pentacles came out in a reverse. All right, so because of the lack of quality here um, and how everything just wasn't good, right? It was bad, right? You guys, um, this person here literally has been neglecting you or this relationship, not putting into this at all, right? And you like the leading lady, right? And you like, what the fuck? All right, but for the most part here with that going on, instead of them focusing on you with this, right? You're the empress on top of that. And remember, I told you it got to have something to do with, you know, um, some interferences maybe because of a child too as well. But, and it doesn't have to be y'all, but a, a lot of this has to do with um, another person that's involved in y'all's story. Now, for the most part, because of that, right? You're the divine feminine for the most part. That's what the empress comes in at. I mean, shit, you already... This person sees you with high regard, literally, right? And you're so freaking abundant and you're so positive here. Look, I'm telling you, you're, it's like you're attracting this to you, okay? And because um, with that, because this person here, they feel like they're going to miss out on an opportunity here with you, okay? They feel like they like literally going to miss out on this opportunity here if they keep neglecting you here or if they keep mishandling you and being risky here um especially with this third party situation that just came out look next to the ace of wands all right so it was more like you know 
what the story was already telling with the tarot pre previously before this other deck is really saying the same thing. So tell us more here. Thank you. So, um, you know, because they were being risky here with that. Now they're getting the inspiration here. Okay. Thank you. They're gaining some hope about this. Ten of Pentacles came out in the reverse. The star card came out next to it. Okay. So because, you know, they're going to be breaking some type of tradition, y'all. That's all that just came to me. They're breaking some type of tradition. So they even either maybe, again, have children by this other person. Um, person may be pregnant or they may be married to this person. Whatever this family dynamics is that they got going on, okay, it's creating a lot of tension and disputes between you and your person here, okay? And then on top of that, um, what's going to end up happening is, wow, there is some type of hope and some type of... Uh, it's like one of those things here where they're becoming more optimistic about that. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so whoever this other person is that's in the story here, um, mm, it's creating... Uh, this is where all of the uh, conflicting thoughts are coming into play as well. So with so many different factors, y'all, that are um, adding up into your person's story here and why they be so tormented in their mind. And you guys literally have a lack of closure between each other. Your person really does feel like they're, you know, they're empty without you for the most part, right? So you complete them is what I'm hearing here. You complete them here. But of course, you got this imbalance because of the deceit, right? Because they're lying. And this is why the truth wasn't coming out and things like that. But the real thing is, it's like, um, they really want this nine of cups with you. Okay. They really want to be able to um, have their wish fulfilled because you are their wish fulfillment. It seems like here, what I'm picking up, it's like you're everything that they want. Okay. Now with the judgment card in the reverse position here, um, they have this self doubt, right? And for the most part, they got to sneak away from something. They got to run away from something. Something here. They've been lying and scheming about some stuff here. But guess what? They releasing something here. So let me keep going with the double and the reverse. So they're really trying to even reclaim their power in their life here. And really take more control of this situation by releasing those uh, negative energies, of course. Right? Thank you. And not being able to really see the world. Let's just see that with you. Okay, because that's in reverse. Um, they are coming home. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. And that came to me. And I, and I forgot I pulled the house card. That's what the message is. The message is they are coming home. They made a decision. Your person is coming home. However that resonates for you. They feel like you're home. And they're coming home. Okay? Thank you. What is it that Taurus needs to know in regards to this? Drum. Dream and journey that came out in my um collective reading today, y'all. So check that out if you haven't. Let me let me look it up again. Drum from Angel and Ancestors deck. Okay, Oracle deck. trying to find the best one to pick y'all okay so this card says the drum invites you to take the next bold step wow so they're going to take the next bold step okay so that's what's happening here all right and for the most part here Y'all getting so much support y'all from the spiritual realm here with this this is like they're supporting Oh my gosh, y'all. So this is literally, you know, not the time for y'all guys to push against this, right? <laughs> because the universe here is literally supporting this, all right? And for the most part, it's saying here, the current will take you. Okay, so 
if you go um, with the flow of the river, right, the current will take you exactly where you want to go. So once you jump in, collect your power tools and summon your carriage because it's going to be a wild and glorious journey. Allow yourself to be carried by the rhythm of what is really essential in your life. And that's what's happening. Your person here now is getting ready to literally take the next bold step. So they're deciding to jump in. They're going to jump in, y'all. That's what they've been thinking about here. Okay? All right, y'all. Taurus, I'm going to let y'all go with that one. That was a happy ending. Okay? Because I, I feel like y'all been through some shit. That's all right. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay? I'm just saying. But um, I am definitely going to get ready. I'm going to try to tap into y'all energy at least two or three times a week. Okay? So be expecting um some posts. Um, some videos from me. So I'm gonna make a schedule or whatever for myself so I can stay on point y'all. Okay. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and share. Peace.